Hello guys, welcome to Linux Techie channel. Today I am going to demonstrate how to install Ubuntu 22.04 LTS on VirtualBox. For its system requirements, we must have pre-installed VirtualBox on our system, 2 vCPU, dual core processor, 4 GB of RAM, 25 GB of disk space, internet connectivity and ISO file. As it's a LTS version, so we would be getting support and update until April 2027. So let's move into the installation step. The first step is to download its ISO file. So download the ISO file, visit its official web page ubuntu.com slash download slash desktop. Click on its uh, download icon. It will start downloading the ISO file. The size would be around 3.6 GB. So in my case, I have already downloaded it and I have placed it on my downloads folder. Okay, now move to the next step. Create a virtual box. Uh, create a virtual box VM for Ubuntu. So start the virtual box. Click on New. Specify the VM name. So I would be giving it as Ubuntu 22.04. It will automatically pick the type as Linux as it's a Linux distribution by its name, and its version is Ubuntu 64-bit. Okay, fine. Click on next. Specify the RAM as 4096. Processor as 2. Click on next. It has automatically assigned 25 GB of disk space. That is enough. And this is the minimum recommended. So click on next. Click on finish. Okay. Now select the VM. Click on settings we would be attaching the ISO file so that it get bootstrap with the ISO file click on storage and then select the ISO file in my case it is Ubuntu 22.04 ok click on ok I would also attaching the interface to the bridge adapter of my laptop or the desktop so click on settings again click on network Choose the first adapter, attach to select as bridge adapter, click on OK. And now we are good to start this virtual machine. So click on start. It will take a couple of seconds to boot up. Let's wait to boot up. OK, it got to boot up. So we'll get the multiple options. Choose the first option, try or install Ubuntu. Hit enter. Okay, we got the screen. Click on install Ubuntu. Choose your keyboard layout. So so as per your laptop, as per your settings, as per your location, choose the keyboard layout 
as per installation type so how would you proceed with the installation whether you want to do a normal installation minimal installation so I would go for the normal installation and here the other options so click uh, choose this option download updates while installing Ubuntu if you have if your system has internet connectivity choose this option and if you want to install third-party software Wi-Fi hardware and uh, media formats then you can choose this one as well if you have the internet connectivity okay so as I have connected my system to the internet so I would be choosing this option as well so click on continue Now the installation type how would you install so there are two options here it is disk and install Ubuntu and the second one is something else if you want to create your own custom partition table then go with the second option something else if you don't want to create your own customized partition and you want the installer to create partitions automatically on the disk then choose the first option so so in this demo I would be going with the first option so click on install now okay click on continue to accept the changes and write the changes to the disk based on your location choose the your geographical location so I would be choosing London here so specify your system name username its password so let's say my username is Linus Techie I want to put the machine name as Jemmy jellyfish and the password So this username would be using it once the OS got installed. So remember this username and its password. You would be using it later. So click on continue. Installation got started. So it will take around five to ten minutes depending upon the internet speed and the hardware configuration of, of your system. Great, so the screen confirms that installation is completed. Click on restart to reboot the system. So hit restart now. It will prompt you to reboot the ISO file. Okay, press enter. To remove the installation media and it will start our newly installed Ubuntu 22.04 it will boot up in few seconds we will get a login screen we will use the same username and the password that we specified during the installation so let's wait Okay, great. Specify the password. It will take us to this desktop screen. So, if you want to configure your online accounts now, you can configure it, otherwise, you can skip it. Click on next if you want to. Set up the live patching. Click on 
next next and done great so this confirms that we have installed Google 224 let's verify it settings about we'll see this is Ubuntu 22.04 memory processor graphics disk let's close this and if you try to maximize the screen size it will not take the full size it will not fit to the screen so for that to fix this we need to perform a couple of steps the first step is to install the packages for that let's open the terminal let's click and clear sudo edit specify your username password Once this command is executed, we will run the other command. Next, run this command sudo apt install build essential dkms linux hyphen headers. Let's hit enter. Press y. I'll paste these commands in the description of the video for your reference so that you can use the same in your environment. So let's wait once this is completed, we will move to the next step. Okay, this is completed. Now, go to the devices, click on insert guest edition CD image. So here you will get this icon. Click on this. We have to run this script, autorun.sh. So if you right click and open in terminal, Okay, do ls and run this script. Okay, it will prompt you to enter your password, user password, so specify it. Okay, it will start installing the VirtualBox guest edition. will take a couple of minutes max Great. Now press enter to close this window and reboot your system once. If you have reboot. Click on restart. Enter the credentials. Okay. 
great this confirms that we can uh, maximize the screen of our ubuntu 2204 that's all from this uh, tutorial i hope you like it thank you bye kindly post your feedback queries comments in the comments section thank you